Hi you guys, this is going to be your weekend, starting of your weekend message. This is Saturday's message. And the first card to come in is the Knight of Swords. So what this is letting you know is that this weekend is going to be full of direction, the knowing of, of how to handle what's going on, and full force going towards your goals for the weekend, which is always wonderful. Your next card here is the Seven of Coins. This is letting you know that whatever you are moving into this weekend, it's going to be a good, like much needed seeded learning event. Something where you can be planting your seeds and having it grow for you guys. Uh, or for you and your family is what I mean. So let's see if there's another message here. Oh, yes, there is. What is What this is going to be bringing is uh, a very, very deep sense of security. And almost where you are so fulfilled, you feel like, wow, I'm like feeling myself. I'm feeling the efforts that I've been putting in. That especially with these two coming out, they are very the king of coins and the nine of coins this is very very high energy like feeling yourself knowing that what you're doing is like the way the path you should be taking and continuing to grow so that's really really cool because this is like a um like a full-on solid foundation and with this coming in here, this is the Page of Coins. Now, the Page of Coins is another person that can be stepping in for you guys or for you um, to let you know some information about a project that is happening or they have like, maybe they have some more wisdom. This card came flying out, which is the Hierophant. This is someone in your group. This is someone in your group that knows, like is bringing in more people to help with your projects. So I don't read upside down. So let's get into this. Uh, so this person is bringing in, so this guy is part of your community and the community is also calling in this person who brings in more of a romanticized, uh, watery energy, flowy energy, much needed because I feel like everyone around you guys is very direct and to the point and they're going to bring in the energy of like watery, uh, bringing in that emotion into the group, making it more aware of everyone's feelings regarding the issue at hand. Not, not necessarily an issue at hand, but like what you guys are doing, the projects. So also bringing in this passion energy. So with their words, they are bringing in this passion energy for you guys and bringing in new ways of thinking, bringing in more passionate ways of thinking towards your goals. What I'm feeling is like this is at work now. Uh, this may be for another group of people, but this feels more like work energy. And what that's going to do is bring in a nice needed balance that was more of a logical sense, logical thinking, more into a passionate and fiery energy showing not afraid to show your emotions and bringing that balance now this may bring in a topic of can you guys see that topic of feeling lack because some people may not understand what is happening with this new viber or this new energy that's coming in and that's okay because people always get out of their comfort zone and kind of have a freak out so with this devil coming in, this is the, the sabotage in the group. This is the, the person that is not understanding what this passion and watery emotion is doing. They're actually fighting against what is happening. But you know what? It's okay. Everybody has a learning moment. They don't like being, they don't like when things aren't going their way. And they don't like when they are not in control or things are working out for them specifically. So by that person having to use their emotions to tap into like new ways of thinking, they are not about it. They're more logical. They like to do things their old way. Yes, they feel like they're much, much like in control of a situation. But really what is happening is they are going to be broken down into the new way so this is talking about people not liking their shifting people not not liking their growth and that's okay in due time 
they will upswing in due time. So you guys, what is coming in is major, major shifting within the workplace or even with the home. Make sure to uh, continue your path in the way that your path feels. If it feels right to you, keep going. It, this person in here that's bringing in this watery, fiery, passionate energy brings in the balance. Don't let this person kind of take over because they're going to try to dismantle that good feeling. They're going to get it. They're going to get it sooner or later. And they're going to upswing and kind of maybe by force, maybe by force because they're not going to really want to do it. But if they want to be a part of the group and a part of the clique, like they're going to have to switch their gears. So this is trickling into next week for sure. So if you have any questions, want a private reading, please check out onlycrystalsremain.etsy.com. You can find readings there and I will leave the link at, in the description and have a great day.